always get caught in the moment with you, with you, with you, with you. We're gonna get started with primer first. And of course, I use the same primer. Well, I use this primer that I used in my last makeup video, which is the Becca First Light Priming Filter. Damn, I did not need that much primer. I'm trying to squeeze you back in there. But, um, so this is still a good amount of primer. It smells like cleaning supplies, like furniture polish. <laughs> furniture. It smells like furniture polish or something. I don't know. Okay, so I put that like all over my face. Gives me like a little bit of glow. And now I'm going to go in with my Dirty Beauty Blender. I, sh I feel like I should wash this. Okay, I'm going to come back and this is going to be washed because this is disgusting. So I came back and it's partially washed. It's kind of damp right now, so it's perfect. And I'm going to take my True Match Lumi Healthy Luminous Makeup. <laughs> I'm going to take this Lumi Foundation from True Match L'Oreal. And I'm going to just, you know what, I'm going to put it on my face. Just put like three drops onto my face and I'm going to take the Booty Blender and blend it in. And it's good that my Beauty Blender is kind of damp right now because then it blends in much more smoothly. I wanted to use this foundation today because normally when I use like other matte foundations it sticks to all the dry spots in my skin and I don't want that to happen because my skin is kind of dry in the winter. Oh. much on my nose so don't like to put a lot of foundation on my nose I don't like it to be cakey and I put like one layer one light layer of foundation on my face Oh my god, it's so enlarged right now. <laughs> what the hell is this? <laughs> Why is it so big? Now that we're done with that, I'm going to move on to my concealer underneath my eyes. And I think I'm going to use the LA Girl Pro Conceal um, HD High Definition. Um, oh god, I think I just squeezed that in my eye. So I just like to put some underneath my eyes. And this is like, it has like a yellow undertone. I like that. <laughs> so we just dab it underneath the eyes okay And I just wanted to use LA Girl Pro Conceal just because I wanted to show a new concealer on my channel because all I've been using is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I made that line extra long. So now I'm just using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow. I'm not out of it so I'm going to keep using it because I don't like wasting products. Why buy a new product when you still have 
an old one that is not finished yet. So what I like to do is just, I like to make the, um, the end part of my eyebrow darker, and then as I get to the tip of my eyebrow, I lightly, lightly fill it in, because you don't want it to look too harsh. And then I'm going to take the brush, and to make my eyebrows look natural and bushy, I'm going to just brush it upwards, because I want it to look like... I just like the bushy eyebrow look, so I'm going to brush up. Now I'm going to take my handy dandy <laughs> instant age rewind eraser dark circles. Why did I say all of that? It's just the instant age rewind concealer. And I'm going to take a small brush. Dip it in there and then like outline the bottom of my eyebrow. So I make it nice and crisp. Oh wait, I don't think I messed up this time. Oh my gosh, it's a miracle. And then I just like to blend it. The eyeshadow I am using, is that upside down? Sweet Peach Palette by Too Faced. And where is my brush? Here it is. And I'm just going to start with the peaches and cream it's just a shade I'm going to put on my lid just to cover up like the veins Ooh, that's very dusty okay next I'm taking luscious it's a pretty shimmery like brown shade and I'm going to put that under my eyebrow just to like give it a nice pop of shimmer and I love this shade of eyeshadow so much that I wanted to use it also as a highlighter because I feel like if you have a palette you can just use eyeshadow as highlighter sometimes instead of spending extra money. This is like a low budget makeup tutorial, everyday makeup tutorial. And then next I want to go in with Puree, warm brown shade. I'm gonna put that in my crease. Just warms the eyes up. Alright, then next I go in with Caramelize, which is right next to Puree, and that is a shimmery bronze brown color. Then put that on the lid. And I'm going to put that same luscious color into my inner corner as well, just to brighten it up. I'm going to take my Milani Baked Bronzer in 05 Soleil. And I just use the brush that comes in the bronzer. You can get this at the drugstore. I really like this bronzer, it makes me look like sun-kissed, it's like very warm. And then I'm going to take a little bit, contour my nose with it. Just like that. Let's just try out this blush by Colourpop. <clears throat> it is called Get Laid. Super chop, super shock cheek. It's like 
kind of orange coral color nothing's happening oh there we go there we go it's a subtle coral I usually like wear this in the summer Then I'm going to go back into the Sweet Peach palette, pick up the shade Luscious, use it as a highlight on my nose. So I'm going to do the tip of my nose, the ridge of my nose, and a little dot right there. Like, isn't that pretty? Then I like to just put a little bit on my cheekbones and then dab it into the skin. So it's not too harsh. A little bit. And then dab. I like to put some right here in my Cupid's bow. For the lips, I'm going to be using ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip in Tight Fit. And this is like a really, really pretty glossy, sparkle, shimmer. That's so pretty. Hell yeah. And I just realized I totally forgot about doing my eyelashes, and that's like the most important part for me. But I have the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, and I use it all the time. It's a really good mascara. Makes my eyelashes look extra long. How do I forget about mascara? That's like the most essential part of my makeup routine. I can't go out the house without mascara or eyebrows. Comment down below what's the most essential makeup item that you need. Not need, but want. And without it, your makeup routine is not complete. Like, I can't, I don't want to leave the house without mascara or eyebrows. So I think I'm going to be a little extra. And I'm going to add some faux freckles. And I'm going to use the Goof Proof Brow Pencil by Benefit. It has a little stick. I'm going to <laughs> show up, show up. It's like very light, which is actually kind of good. I'm going to make little dots around your nose. I just do it like around my nose area. And then I'm going to take my beauty blender and then just dab over it. So you have like, I don't know if you could tell, but I have just a little bit of Faded freckles, I'm going to add a little bit more. And this is the 
final look. It's very natural, very simple, and easy. So that's it. Thank you guys for watching.